With my progress in the Scarlet Witch legendary event grinding to a halt in level 1.8, my mind has been looking towards future events coming to the game. Now we do know that to unlock Miss Marvel or Kamala Khan, it will require city based heroes, so a city based event. Now we currently have 20 city heroes in the game, so there's a not bad amount there and they're actually a lot easier to get than some of the mystic heroes that are available so hopefully it will be an easier event. Now despite that what I'll do is I'll show off my city roster and I'll talk through who I'll be using and I'll give you some tips about characters you may want to farm as well. When it comes to the city heroes then this isn't necessarily an archetype that I have been concentrating on for any reason but they're all really highly ranked. The reason for that as so many of the city characters are just really fantastic. I either use them in raids or I'll use them in arena or I might even use them as part of my main teams and blitz as well. When it comes to my own city roster it's actually sitting pretty nice here now it's not for any particular reason I've not been farming specifically city characters but a lot of the characters you see here are actually ones that I'm using either in arena or blitz and I've been using them to get through raids as well I'm looking at you night nurse right now now what I'll actually do to give you an idea of a typical team setup you may need for these events and I say may need because we don't know how the levels will look because some levels can be very specific about the team you need to take in if we think back to the Doctor Strange one and the most recent Scarlet Witch event you need a very specific team for that but what we'll do is we'll look at the different types of characters so that's your protector and your support and so on and we'll see which one would actually fit in here now when it comes to support it has to be the one and only Night Nurse really now. She's a character that most people will have leveled up because she's a staple of really anyone's raid team. She's absolutely incredible with the two turns of regen now. For any reason, if you maybe didn't have her, then what you could potentially do is you could look to use Hand Sorceress. She's actually a really good support character as well. She's got the, the stealth in herself which ups her survivability and then she's got the nice heal which she can cast fairly frequently as well there. Now next up we would have the Protector class so we'll scroll back up the top here. Now when it comes to Protectors, Kingpin of course is fantastic with the offence up and the defence up but he is a pretty hard and slow farm as well. So for that reason personally I think I'll probably be using Hand Sentry. He helped out an absolute ton in the Scarlet Witch event and Hand Sentry is a character you can actually farm from the raids as well. So it's another one that I reckon a lot of people should be sitting pretty well with them. Now if you don't have him and you're not getting any luck in the raid store Another good protector class is actually the Mercenary Riot Guard. Now he's available via the Blitz mode and we can get a not bad amount of tokens in Blitz still so you can farm him pretty nice. I've got him basically up to 6 star once I do have enough gold to upgrade him. Now with the support and protector class out of the way I will actually look at the controller. So who would you use? as a controller here. We don't have a great deal of options. Now, personally, I reckon I will go with Nobu. He's another character that really helped out with the Scarlet Witch event, but he's one that is locked behind premium orbs. I've simply been lucky to get this far, and also being a soft launch player, you were able to farm him for a certain period of time. Now, if you don't have him, and personally, I have a suspicion we'll see some nodes based around this character. Jessica Jones could work really good. She's great at regenerating energy and she also has that shake off skill where she can remove all the debuffs from your team. So I wouldn't be surprised if we go into a particular level and the enemies are firing debuffs all over the place and we have multiple stacks of them and that's where she'll be needed and she simply shakes them all off. So that is another potential option there. Now for your last two roles that would be Blaster and Brawler so this really is all about characters that can put out damage it doesn't matter if they are a Blaster or a Brawler only they do a nice amount of damage there. Now we've got Spidey he's absolutely awesome now he's got the defence down and he's got the stun so without a doubt you should be leveling up Spidey if you're not already doing that. I have a suspicion in time they may actually move him and make him a bit harder to farm because he's one of the best characters in the game and he's a really easy farm at the moment. Now you've got Electra as well, she's really good, I do really like her. She's got the cleanse, she's got the huge damage she does on her ultimate but one of the things that pulls her down a little bit is the fact she's mainly assigned for single target there. Now if we scroll down a bit here, 
we'll actually see other classes we've got that can put out a nice amount of damage where avoid iron fist of course and then we have daredevil as well their daredevil can actually put out a nice amount of damage but there is a huge amount of rng in it sometimes you'll absolutely smash an enemy and other times you'll barely scratch them there now just before we finish up and i'll pick my personal top five and i'll show them off in a blitz match i would say an honorable mention to the mercenary lieutenant character he's really good he's classed as support but you're not using him to heal at all he's all about the speed up and also the offense up which you can offer which i imagine will really help out your team as well so there's some characters to focus on there but let's actually see what five i reckon i'll be using team wise then i reckon this is a setup that i'll be tackling most of the levels with so we've got Electra there to take out any single targets that require urgent attention and she's also got the cleanse which we are missing here you've then got hand sentry we know he's all round fantastic when it comes to survivability spidey's up next he's got the stun his ultimate hits like a truck now and he's got that defense down as well he just really is fantastic Night Nurse, another fantastic character of the two turns of regen, and then we've got Nobu as well, so he'll be applying counter-attack to all of our allies later on in the match, stealthing up himself and calling in some hand allies, and he's actually got some nice synergies with the two other hand members we've got in this team. Now I reckon from time to time I may have to drop in Jessica Jones if I need a bit more energy quickly or if I need to cleanse some debuffs, so I would likely drop out Electra if I had to do that but with the team here let's actually run them through a tier 8 blitz match and see how they handle themselves. If nothing here this should be an interesting match because it's a team setup I wouldn't normally use due to the characters not all synergizing together especially in an environment such as blitz but I figured it would be fun to try and show them off here. Now we've got the defense down we want to apply it on this side and you always apply it on the far left or far right so Spidey can go as far as he can. Hopefully goes to four characters. Only went to three, but that's still nice there. Now what we will do, there's nothing to actually cleanse here, but we want this stealth up on Electra for the purpose of actually just keeping her alive. So we'll try and take out Yondu. He can be pretty dangerous. Saying that with Hand Sentry and our team, he can nullify Yondu's Yaka Arrow due to all the stealth that he'll put up. We actually had... Yondu stealing Electra stealth, that's typical there. Now, no one that's going to go next really has an AoE, so it's safe to call in Nobu summons. That's something you have to look out for. If you're going up against the likes of Punisher, then he goes after Nobu and he takes his summons out straight away. It's a schoolboy error I've made many times myself. Now, we have the stealth and the evade on the summons. So, the summons, when they can normally take one hit, they can now take two. So, that's really nice there. Now, we'll actually start to concentrate a bit on, let's see, I was about to say Quake, but I'm going to stay on Gamora for the reason being that she's got our defence down there, so it shouldn't take long to take her out, hopefully. Hand Blade Master really is fantastic. There we go, look at that. Lovely. Now, let's see, I don't want Cap putting the defence up, but I don't want Quake firing off her ultimate at any point. Although, seeing that, I do have the evade in most of my characters. We'll see if we can shut down Cap here. And there we go. Absolutely love that move on Spidey now. So that's another turn before Cap can do anything. Now, as much as I want to take out Quake, I really want to show off this ultimate on a character with defense down. Let's see how much this hits for. And we didn't get to see because the numbers were off screen, but it took Night Nurse out and you could see she almost had about full health there. There's a Jack Arrow not doing much. Let's now focus on Quake. So happy enough with this setup. I'm under no illusions that it'll work for every match, but it seems pretty nice here. Got a whole load of survivability, and what we can do now is get Hand Sentry's health back up, and it won't be long until he's got the stealth and evade again. Really nice combo, the Night Nurse and Hand Sentry one. will slightly lack a cleanse here as you can notice that's one thing that jessica jones could actually bring as well for us she's got the the cleanse as well as the energy and the cleansing of debuffs as well on her own side we've now got the counter that will really help out especially 
when you have a character that casts an AoE, every character hit by that counter will then react. Look at that. Absolutely lovely. Let's see if this does much damage. Here we go. Fantastic. And all the characters that have counter will now hit our back. That was great. I want to take out Yondu when we can, but we've still got the taunt on cap, so you can notice that's one of the things we will be slightly lacking here. And if we do trade Electra for Jessica Jones, like I mentioned a moment ago, we'll actually just be trading a cleanse for a cleanse, essentially, there. Let's take out Quake. Pretty soon we'll want to take out Yondu because he can get really quite dangerous. All the stripping of buffs and the summons and the Yak Arrow. On the subject of Yondu, it will actually be interesting to see if he does get a nerf now. I do feel that he was overpowered, and the reason I say was is with the recent buffs to the like of Thanos and Star-Lord, I would say that Yondu isn't as overpowered as he once was. So I'm kind of hoping that they actually just keep him as is. Now let's see, hopefully we can pass this with all characters, and it's a strong team we're fighting that has round about 20 total power more than us. Let's see, there we go, that was nice. And if we can pass it with what would essentially be three stars for the mission, because three stars means you can then auto it, so that's always the goal there. And I'm pretty certain we will. Defence down here. And hand blade master. I reckon you'll get the final hit. Boom, there we go. Nice. Happy enough with that team. Let me know in the comments below how you're getting on with your city characters farm. Let me know how you're getting on with the Scarlet Witch missions as well. And as always, thanks for tuning in. I'll see you all again soon.